So what am I doing with all of these? There's a channel called the Post-Apocalyptic Inventor. Here's his sticker. Pretty cool guy. Um, I love it. He is in Germany and he goes to scrapyards and finds this stuff. He also just travels around the country and finds stuff that he can kind of, you know, restore on the channel or save. They're really cool. I love the scrapyard repair-a-thon videos he does. I've been in his comments for quite a while and I had, before I started up this channel again, when I was just kind of, you know, on a very long hiatus, as it were, I started watching a lot of his videos and I was like, oh, that would be really fun, but we just don't have anything like that around here. I love this thing. Can you tell me what this is? I think this is a framing ax, but it's really old. Um, it's got a guy's initials on it over there. I think that says JR. My wife and I aren't sure. Anyway, um, I really, really love this one. But I just thought I would kind of take a look at these. I'm not gonna restore these in this video. Um, they obviously all need uh, handles, even these three. Like this thing is very splintered and worn and I'm gonna keep that piece of wood. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I just really like it. It has character. And these are kind of, you know, getting loose and they just, they're kind of slowly disintegrating. And so we'll go ahead and at some point restore these on the channel. I don't know when I'm gonna to get to that. I'm, I've got so much on my plate. But what I did wanna do is I wanna put my logo on these. Um, nothing crazy, you know, like that one's marked. They came in there with a punch or whatever. And the guy kind of put his initials on there. So if he left it at a job site or whatever, and I just got a splinter from it. Great. Um, you know, so I'm gonna take my 100 watt fiber laser. We're going to put my little initial logo on these. I'm gonna start with this one since uh, it's pretty beat up. If we look at the blade here. So you can see here, there's some like good um, curling of the blade and some edges out. So I will start with this one. Um, I'll probably just put my logo over here by the manufacturer's mark, uh, probably over here. And that'll be kind of our guinea pig to test on since it's already seen the abuse. And if I restore this thing, yeah, if I get a handle on it and stuff, that's 100% gonna get used in the garden. So it's gonna it's gonna see plenty of use. And then I'll kind of go through all these others and just put my logos on them real quick. And then I'll do this one last, cause this is my favorite. And I just, this thing has seen some use. You can see over here where it's, you know, and like that has, the business end of that hammer has seen a lot of work. Like it's got like, gouges in the metal and I don't know. This thing is just cool. Like I just want to put this on a new handle or yeah, put it on a new handle and set it up. And I think that'll just be awesome. You'll mind the birds. It is spring. It's uh, early March when I'm recording this. Um, I've got everything set up here in light burn to go after that Axematic. I'm not really sure what it's called. I know it's some kind of Matic, but anyway, we've got that set up. <clears throat> I'll show you that real quick. And I've Kind of got it about the size I want and here I'm just framing it and you can see my logo and it's going to go right there. I, I can't really get it where I want to go because of the angles of this. So we're just putting it right there. Yeah, let me get some glasses on here and we'll go ahead and find my mouse pointer. I just realized I didn't actually set the settings. So let me do that. All right, that's better. We've got the settings set and we'll go ahead and give it a go. So let me take the glasses off. Okay, so that worked good. So now I'll go in and I'll do another pass to kind of clean up some of these lines you can see there. And here we go with that. Let me find my mouse pointer. There we go. All right, so let me get rid of the glasses here and we'll take a look. Pretty cool. There's, you can see like a little bit of depth there with my logo and it's kind of removed who knows how many decades of oxidation. And yeah, we're just gonna do that to all of them. And uh, yeah, I'll just kind of show you the end product of each one. So this one's actually pretty pitted. So I'm gonna do three passes of that first one and then probably three of the second one, just so it looks nice and good, because you can see all kinds of pitting on there. Like, it looks like this thing was dug out of the dirt. So, yeah, I'll, I'll come right back after this one and we'll take a look at it. 
So I stepped out here in some natural light. Um, because of the pitting, I'm not going to do the kind of cleanup pass. You don't really notice those lines. And there's no sense removing more material than we need to. I think that looks freaking awesome. Like, kind of smoothed out the thing some. I mean, I could do it a bunch more times and smooth it out even more, but I've already picked it up, so it's going to be kind of a pain to line up because I had it resting on another one. So it'll be kind of difficult to get it back to the exact point. But, yeah. So I might actually just do like five or six passes on all of them just to get that nice, nice look. But, yeah, that is, that is amazing. That just looks so nice. And there's that one that had the paint on it. Pretty good. That's five passes with my deep engrave and then come back with, um, I did two on this to kind of clean it up a little. Looks pretty good. Yeah, and there we are with the next one. That looks great. That looks really great. And then you get the maker's mark over there. That is a hardcore stamp. But yeah, I need to come in here, move a little bit, and uh, there's my logo. So every time I change one of these out, I'm just resting it on whatever to try to get it level. Then I just hit the autofocus. And because this is a dark metal, the autofocus works great, gets it good enough. I mean, I could maybe get like a fraction of a percent better performance, but I love this autofocus on this thing. So this one also kind of has an interesting texture on it. So out of curiosity, I went 10 passes on my deep engrave setting and five on my white setting. Um, <clears throat> honestly, I'm not sure it removed much more material. Maybe a little. You can kind of see some raised area there. Um, yeah. So now we got the my favorite one left, what I think is a framing axe. Doesn't look like a framing axe I've seen, but I mean, I'm pretty sure it is. So we'll do that one. Um, I wanted to save it for last because I really, really like that thing. And I won't ever use a framing axe, but I will um, like use it as a display piece in the living room once I get this handle changed. You can just see how gnarly that handle is and how like splintery it is and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to put my logo back here somewhere. Or maybe right there. Let's do my logo right here. So I think that says like JR, that's that's what I think. My wife thinks it might be JH, but whoever you were, sir or ma'am, I will take good care of this. This is, uh, this is a beautiful piece of craftsmanship and it's seen a lot of love. And now I've put my mark on it and I take custody of it. Someday I'll get a good handle on this, probably in the summer. And I think she'll get retired and kept inside and have a nice life as a display piece. But yeah, that's been the fiber laser on these. I'm going to take one of these other handles and try putting my logo on it on the wood just as an experiment because I'm going to replace those handles too, kind of get a feel for it. Let's take a look at this out here. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. Probably won't do that on the other ones. Maybe it'll look different before it's got the, you know, the varnish lacquer on it or whatever. But uh, yeah, I think I'll hold off. All right, that's been the video, guys. We just, we've been playing with these axes here. Let me show you all the, all the axes we did. Like, I really love this laser. I love it a lot. And I love that post-apocalyptic inventor uh, salvaged these. Uh, he's a really great guy. I'll have a link to his channel and everything. You should check it out. His scrapyard repair-a-thons are some seriously great YouTube content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for coming by.